welcome to Covering the Fields with your host, Joe Ellison. Welcome to the Covering the Field 2022 Winter Olympics Preview Special. I'm your host, Joe Ellison, and with me today is Gator Gates. How are you doing today, Gator? Well, I'm excited, Joe. Thank you. What are some of the events you'll be watching in this Winter Olympics from Beijing, China? Well, Joe, um, I love the Winter Olympics. I love everything about it. The Summer Olympics, not so much. Um, so when the schedule came out, um, me and my wife, Lady Gator, were trying to decide what events we're going to watch. Now, she... Uh, is going to be rooting really hard for USA on skating and snowboarding. She loves uh, Sean White. This is going to be his last year, and Chloe. Um, so she goes, well, what are you going to watch? And I said, well, and like I said, I like all of them, but I'm really going to be paying attention to um, the biathlon and all the sleds, and I absolutely love curling. So Lady Gator looks at me and she goes, well, who are you rooting for in, the, in curling? And I said, well, I think Canada is going to take over the mix and Canada should win the men's. But I think in the women's side, I think Sweden's going to win. And she goes, okay, so I'll take the big TV and you can have the little TV. And I said, as a man, trying to think about how I'm going to get the big TV, I said, well, you as can get some type of middle in all three of them and she looked at me and she goes you get the small tv so i think i got hosed there a little bit joe got already got <laughs> hosed before the olympics even started <laughs> i think so i must say it is unusual that you like the win winter olympics more than the summer olympics you're definitely in the minority there oh exactly um yeah i just i love the winter olympics mm -hmm. i really do but as far as usa uh i think we won some medals in curling Four years ago. If yes, I'm not we mistaken. did. So. We did. We won the gold. Yeah, well, that's... with the Schuster. Right. Yes. So yes, they do have a very good chance of getting medals. Okay. I agree. And, and some decent odds too, but we might get in uh, might get into that later. So, what events do you want to talk about today? Well, I want to talk about um, ice hockey. Uh, curling and ice hockey both start on Wednesday. The mixed curling and women's uh, hockey. Now, the women's hockey is going to come down to two teams. It's going to come down to Canada and USA. Now, these two teams know each other very well. They play each other constantly through the years. Um, Canada has the upper hand on them. So, they're both at minus 110, so I would have to take Canada and the women's team. I was noticing they were doing a little tour, and the Canada and U.S. was playing each other in various venues. Mm -hmm. So, they probably played each other like 10 times oh, within the last do. year. Yeah, they always do. Yeah. Yeah. It's just easier for them being on the North America side. They don't have to travel as much and all that. Sure. So yes. they know each other very well. Total familiarity. Yes. Uh, I did notice that the U.S. won the gold medal in women's hockey four years ago. Yes, they did. Correct. So a little revenge for Canada. Is that what you're predicting? Uh -huh. I do think that the women can, Canadian women are better. I oh. sure do. Okay. Um, now on the men's side, you have Russia... Uh, as being the favorite, but uh, ROC Russia will have seven players back from the gold medal team in 2018. Now, they were called the Olympic Athletes of Russia. This year, they're going to be called the Russian Olympic Committee, and that is due to the sanctions from various doping-related issues across multiple Olympic sports. Yes, and the reason that I saw that the Russians were favored... Uh, basically, their professional athletes generally play in Russia. The NHL is banning its athletes, its players, from playing. So if you play in that Russian Continental League, mm -hmm. you can play in the Olympics. Right, that's correct. But Joe, we're talking about 35-year-olds. Um, I like Again, I like Canada. Fair enough. Uh, That'll be, that's a rivalry. That, just like the yeah. women's men in uh, U.S. and Canada, I would say just the same with Canada and Russia. 
Okay. And you, you can get decent odds on Canada, like five to one, I believe. Mm -hmm. So in Russia at the, the minuscule seven to five. So, now they have yeah. Finland in there as well, um, ahead of Canada. And I still think the Indians yeah. are going to win. And Sweden tied with Canada. Uh, at five to one on the odd sheet. Okay. Next up, after uh, hockey, what do you got going? Okay. Well, I'm just going to go in alphabetical order, Joe, to make okay. this easy. All right. Um, let's just start with alpine skiing. Um, U.S. has 17 members there. Um, 11 of gold medals are going to be given out. Now, Michaela Schifrin, she's like I said, is going to lead a 17 member uh, team and nine first time Olympians. Michaela needs one more gold medal to become the number one skier in America's history. She was the, uh, the lone gold medalist in alpine skiing in 2018. And U.S. did lose their top downhill skier when uh, Breezy Johnson uh, injured her knee in one of the trials. Yeah. She's an up-and-comer. She has uh, just started hitting the scene. Mm -hmm. Michaela Schifrin is up with the top in the history of of skiing mm -hmm. right behind uh, Ingemar Stenmark and Lindsey Vaughn for most yeah. victories on the World Cup circuit. Another another girl that uh, Lady Gator really likes, Lindsey Vaughn. Ah, uh, yes. Lindsey Vaughn will be commenting on the games this year. She is not competing. Michaela is the favorite in the giant slalom. Correct. So And she should win that. She and, should win that. And she does have a chance in the regular slalom as well. She has a shot. But, but she's not the best at that. No, her, her, that's correct. Uh, she, the, her event is the giant. Yes, and there is a combined event also that she should do well at. So I would say possibility of two and definitely one gold medal for her. There you go. Go USA. Go, <laughs> go Michaela. Um, in the men's side, Joe, um, the only one of the four men to win gold was uh, Mathis May Meyer, and he will return. Um, now, he will return, so he probably will get the gold, I'm guessing. I'm not exactly sure what the odds are on him. Uh, and from I'm, Austria, right? Yeah, and I don't, I'm not exactly sure if they're out yet. It is, this is Monday, and they did get some of the uh, events out, and they're still going to be coming out more and more. Well, this is like a brand new hill. that, I, I, From what I've seen, since they didn't have any competitions last year in China, Nobody has seen this hill that they are competing on, right? Right. Now, that's true on a lot of these events. Joe Biathlon, nobody's been on that tr yeah. on that track ever. Um, yeah, there's a lot of them. So I heard there wasn't a lot of snow either. So a lot of man-made snow being put on this hill? Yes. So that could be a disadvantage to some skiers, perhaps? Well, that's the thing about the Winter Olympics is, is that these mountains that they're on in Italy or Sweden, there is no record. They're, the record is the mountain, you know, two minutes, 50 seconds on this mountain, but it's three minutes on this mountain. So uh, I, their records are way different than when you're going to the Summer Olympics. A hundred meters is a hundred meters and right. things of that nature. Okay. Um, so, Joe, you want to go to biathlon? Um, just, yeah. Okay. Um, biathlon, we have 11 events and USA has eight members. I don't expect USA to even get on the podium in this yes, event. Yes, biathlon will be cross-country skiing and shooting. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct, a com combination. Um, the teams that we're looking at is Norway, Sweden, and France. Uh, they will duke it out for the medals. Norway could get over half the medals in this event. I do like the Sweden sisters, though. Hannah Oberg and Olivia Oberg, Elvira. Hannah Oberg and Elvira Oberg. Um, in the men's is where France has a good chance. Germany is the powerhouse of this event. I don't even think that they're going to be on the podium. Maybe in the teams. But they are the, pro they are the ones over the years that have dominated this event. Now, when you look at uh, Norway and you see how many gold medals they're supposed to get, they're easily the highest. And it's supposed to be cross-country skiing and biathlon where they're going to get a majority of their medals. Correct. So look at the Norwegians pretty much would be 
Correct. For the men's side. In oh, the, men's the men's side, side. I would yeah. go for the Nor Norwegians. Um, but the Swedens, I do like the sisters. Hannah's better okay. than... Um, All right. Yeah. And there'll be, you know, combination of women's uh, relays. And yes. There, and like I said, there's 11 and, events in this. Yes. So, yes. And it is one of my... One of the events that I like to watch all okay. the time. And uh, what's next? Okay, so let's go to bobsled, Joe. Um, bobsled, they're going to have four event uh, gold medals given out. USA has 12 members. Um, the Jamaicans will have three events. Um, the last time that they were in the Olympics was 2002 in South Korea. Um they are going to be in the monobob, which is a brand new Olympics this year, and what it is is the women's single, and they will have a, a lady, uh, yeah, in that trying to event. even it out. out. Correct. Yeah. We had a Canadian lady just join the American team just like a month ago, and she's going to be a serious factor. Wow, I didn't know that. Yes. that is surprising. She, she just became a United States citizen, and um, I, I can't. Think of her name at the moment, but uh, I'll I'll, uh, I'll find her, and uh, we definitely have a shot for medals with her. Ah, oh, there we go. Good, that's positive. Yes. Um, all the sleds, uh, and all the sleds, bob sleds, luge, and the skeleton. Again, that's where Germany usually shines the most. Um, we'll, we'll get into the skeleton later, but Germany always has a shot at the um, bob sleds. Yes, Kaylee Humphreys is her name. Kaylee Humphreys, I've heard. Yes, she's won many medals for Canada. Yes, she has. And now she's the United States. Yeah, so we do have a chance. A lead serious shot. We, we do. A serious shot. Moving on. Um, cross country, we have 10. Now, this is the 10 medals that are um, going to be given out, and U USA has 14 members. Now, this is the event where Norway has had some problem with COVID. Um, I saw that story last week, but I'm not exactly sure if they're still in COVID or what the heck's going on there. I haven't heard anything from that. Uh, we actually did decent in this uh, cross country. Uh, Jessica Diggins and somebody else, uh, we had uh, get a medal for us uh, in the two, two women cross country. We actually won gold, if I don't remember right, four years ago. Okay. All right. So I think we have a shot again. Okay, um, moving on to figure skating, Joe. Uh, there's going to be five Olympics medals given out there, and USA has 16 members. Now, the last Olympics, USA got bronze in mixed teams and mixed ice dance. Now, Team USA will have Nathan Chin and should win. But this is interesting, Joe. Japan has a skater named Hanu. He is going to try and compete, complete a quadruple axle. This has never been completed in any competition. This is actually a four and a half turn, and the axle jump is the most challenging to any skaters because you are facing forward, and it is also the easiest for the audience to recognize. So I'm guessing that the only way you're going to beat Chan is um, to land that, land that jump. jump. So and Chan, hopefully I noticed, we get to see that. Yeah, I noticed Chan is the favorite, which worries me a little bit because I would just think that uh, maybe he shouldn't be such a big favorite but at minus 300. Well, he's pretty... Seemed kind of high good. to me. Well, it is, um, and he should win. Okay. And like I said, that's probably why this guy, uh, Han, who is yeah. going to try to complete because that's the only way he's going to win, I think, okay. in his mind. Okay, so serious metal threat there for the United States. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, moving on to freestyle skiing, there's going to be 13 events. Um, USA has 32 skiers, and I hope I say this name right, but uh, Katie Owens will be in the Women's Moguls, and she is 17 years old and was adopted at a town square in a province of China um, when she was an infant, um, about 16 months old, and to a couple that were in Colorado Springs, Colorado. So when she hits the Snow there, I guess she'll be, well, I can't say home, but... but she, yeah, she'll be kind of in China, mm -hmm. but uh, really, she she's an American, though. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. So that's an interesting story. Uh, well, free sky, there. well free sky, freestyle skiing, that's, uh, you know, kind of some of the newer events mm -hmm. in the Olympic history, and I think those were 
basically made for America and Canada mm -hmm. because, you know, so popular here in our country. Mm -hmm. And uh, it gives us a lot more chances the X to games. win. Too. In the X Games. X Games, yes. Right. And, and we do very, very well in those. Yes, we do. We're going to get some medals in those. Yes. Sean White. Sean White. He's going to have one last chance. Yes. And David Wise from Reno, who won the last, the first two goals in um, skiing, half pipe. Mm -hmm. He's competing one more time. Oh, right on. So he could win all three gold medals in the history of that event. That would be great. That would be amazing. That would be great. Mm -hmm. Great for Reno, too. Yes. Um, okay, so let's move on to the luge. Now, the luge, there's uh, four medals given out, and there are eight members on the U.S. team. And like I said, Germany is the team to beat. Uh, one gold in women's open doubles and the mixed relay in 2018. Also got bronze in the men's. Um, Austria got first in the men's, and USA got silver. So, um, yeah, I don't know how you're going to compete against Germany in that. But okay. We're, we're hoping for a bronze in that one, maybe. Yeah, yeah. just to get on. But we, we do spend a lot of effort on bobsled and luge and skeleton and all that. So, Especially at Lake Placid, yes. Yeah, so we can, uh, we can su make some surprises, I'm thinking. Now, this next event, Joe, is the one that I absolutely know very little about, and it's called a Nordic Combine. Um, now, there's going to be three uh, medals given out, and this event doesn't have women in it. Now, they did try to get the Women Olympics this year in China, but it was rejected, which doesn't really shock me. But the next Olympics is going to be in Milan, Italy. And I do think that they will have a chance in 2016 to have that event for the women. Nordic Combined, I believe, is uh, ski jumping and cross country. Yes, Joe. Yeah. So they don't want the women really doing too much ski jumping. That's brand new for the women to be competing. They, they can that. do it on that normal hill, though. They do yeah. that in the ski jumping. I don't know why they don't have women in this. It's just slowly evolving. Yeah, or something. Women ski jumping. Yeah. It wasn't even a medal event like four years ago, was it? Uh, maybe eight years, eight years ago. ago it's, it's, maybe, yeah. it's just brand new. Now, well, Germany did take the gold in all three events last time. Okay. So look out for Germany. Germany, yeah. Okay. That is the one, one event I really don't know much about. Okay. Um, let's go on to short track skating. Now, this was interesting, Joe. There's going to be nine uh, medals given out there. But the interesting story in this is that the women's 500 meter number one USA air. Aaron Jackson slipped in the trials. I actually saw this. I was watching it. Now, that did cost her a spot on the roster. Now, this is what gets me, Joe. If she, if he, if she would have fell and not slipped, they would have let her have another time trial. So, what happened is, is that Brittany Bowie gave up her spot. She is actually in the 1,000 meters. And she also, because... Um, Erica didn't qualify. She got that spot, so she's given up her spot so that Jackson can be in because she has a much better chance yeah. of getting a medal. Right, and even, and then even so, they're going to be in one of the relays. Yeah, and they'll probably get the medal in that too. So I'm yeah, and she can save yeah. her energy for right. her better events like the thousand or whatever. Right. Yeah. So I'm uh, I'm really proud of Brittany Bowie to do that. Yeah. Very nice of her. Yes, and uh, that's the that's the regular speed skating. skating. Well, the short track. Correct. Oh, the short track. The short okay. track. Okay, and that's we're going to have a lot of Chinese and South Korean athletes who are going to be very Dominate. competitive. In yes, that. they sure are. Yes, uh, Norway usually is yeah. the daddy of the sh uh, of the speed skating. Right. Um, but the regular speed skating has mm -hmm. always been the Netherlands. Netherlands, right? Yeah. That's where I was trying to go with that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sorry. I but, jumped the gun. No, but that's okay. But my point of the story is even though they dominate the bigger track, they could still do really good here. Okay. But, but like you said, South Korea is very strong. Yes. Yep. And next up we have? The Skeleton. Oh, uh, yeah. This is one of my favorite events because this looks scary to me. That's the head first on uh, kind of like a toboggan kind of thing. Yeah, and you don't yeah. know where you're headed. Or <laughs> they, and you guys, when they're on these uh, sleds, the luge and the skeleton, they're using their feet to yeah. drive the sled. 
not their hands. Yeah. The luge can be very, the single man luge yeah. can be very dangerous. That one poor guy from the country of Georgia yeah. got killed. Yes. Yes. Uh, that was horrible. Got, that was yeah, like that was eight horrible. years ago. Yeah, he got his head to tap. To tap it. No, I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah, he. Uh, yeah, yeah. But then they shortened the uh, they shortened the track so that that wouldn't happen again. So that was good. Right yeah. now, the Maybe only not. thing that's big for us in a, a skeleton is that uh, Katie Ulander. This is her fifth Olympics, um, but you got to watch her. She's great. And uh, 2018 Germany uh, won medals right across the board okay. again. Now, uh, let's go to ski jumping. That's what we were talking about, Joe. There's going to be five uh, medals there, and the women's do have one event, the normal hill, and they also do have a mixed team event. Okay. Um, now, the thing about the ski jump is that the World Cup in Japan was canceled due to COVID, and uh, 2018, Norway got gold um, in the team large jump, yeah. the women's normal jump. Poland won the men's large hill, and Germany won uh, the normal hill. Right. So, yeah, ski jumping, one of my favorites. Yeah, I everybody likes the ski jumping. That's exciting. Um, the curling, everybody's going to watch that, of course. And I like the aerials. We mentioned freestyle, the, the crazy things they do and still land on their skis. Yes, that's fun. That's why my wife, that's why uh, Lady Gator gets to have the big TV. Uh, yes, so that's going to be all exciting. Okay, um, snowboarding, we have 10 medals. USA has 26 of them, or 26 members. Sean White's fifth Olympics, and we'll retire after this, like we were saying. Uh, U.S. won four gold medals, uh, men and women's half pipe, and men and women's uh, slope style, like Joe was talking about. We pretty much just sell at those uh, ski and and those snowboarding. Yes. We and will then, do well again. And then, yeah, in we those should, events. Yeah, exactly. We'll exactly. probably even do better this year than I think we did last time. Okay. Uh, speed skating. That was the one where the Netherlands just dominate the sport. Um, there's going to be 13 medals given out. Now, the Netherlands women, they took home eight medals in all. Uh, three of them were gold. Uh, the two countries that can give the Netherlands... Uh, a run for their money again, it, like Joe said, was South Korea and Japan in this event. Um, now, Korea did take eight medals um, themselves in 2018. Not goals, just medals. So, yes. Be looking forward to that. We'll have a couple Americans fight through. And, um, yes, so we've gone through all the events. Yeah, the 15, the 15 sports. Okay. The 109 medals are going to be given out. We should mention the ones that need to be wagered on uh, by Wednesday. Right. That would be... Um, starting off, the most gold medals. Is there any way Norway does not end up with the most gold medals? No, the, the books have um, nine medals over everybody else. Yeah. And even though um, they are in that protocol, yeah, um, yeah they're, they're still going to come out 15, 14, 60, I don't know. <laughs> They're still well, going to have a full load. For, from what I've been looking into, a um, little research, if Norway has their full complement of athletes, I think they're going to go over this 19 and a half. Really? Yep. I like the under. You like the under. You think 19 or less. I'm going to see, I'm, I'm going to go against you. I'm going to say at least 20. They look like the most dominant team. And then we have uh, like 10 countries listed here. How many gold medals per country? Are, are there any of those that we need to bet on or take a shot on? Well, I like the unders on all these, Joe. Um, USA is only eight and a half, and you're going to go under? No, I was not USA. I was going to okay. do these other ones. I do okay. think that USA will get more than that. They'll probably okay. get eight, eight, eight just in uh, snowboarding and, and yeah. aerial skiing. I kind of thought that was kind of small. It's yeah. a minus on the over. On there that. is a chance that they can win in curling down. Okay. Um, play. I'm not. They have plays and um, uh, Vicky Persinger pretty low on the mix. Okay. I I watch them. They're great. Schuster's going for his second gold medal, so they do have a shot. Okay. I was looking uh, at China now. China has not been competing a whole lot because of 
COVID in Japan, in Asia, we haven't really seen how strong their team is, is because they haven't been really competing a whole lot. But there is a history of teams exceeding expectations on their home turf. Like Tokyo went over. Not too many teams did go over. I'm going to predict China goes over this five and a half gold medals just because they're on In their home. Event. Well, I have no idea yet. Yeah, see, but it's going, to be, like it. <laughs> it's going to be short track speed skating is going to be like three or four of them, I'm sure. They're going to get uh, figure skating. They're going to win the women's figure skating. Probably the... Uh, no? Okay. Well, maybe not. Russia's going to win the women's figure skating. Okay. All right. There's, there's going to be something that they do. I know. Gonna, some, some crazy some thing. Some kind of surprise. We have that uh, American uh, has lived in America all her life, but is competing for China. Eileen uh, Wu, I believe is her name. And she's competing in uh, some of the freestyle events, I believe. And she, I, she's the one that got in trouble uh, texting. Uh, I, I I don't know if that happened. There was a, but, a there was a girl that got in trouble yeah. for texting, and yeah. I'm thinking that was her, but I'm not sure. Okay. But there is some. There was a little controversy that she was not competing for the United States; that she would be competing for China instead, mm -hmm. and uh, she's going to take at least one gold. I'm thinking so. And there's going to be some upsets, you know. There always is. And uh, just looking at the rest of the list, that's about all I have. I'm kind of surprised to see. Countries like Switzerland and Austria, five and a half, back in the old days, they dominated. Now I'm looking at like Germany and uh, mm -hmm. and Russia mm -hmm. are way up there. So I don't think Russia's going to make the ten though. Okay. And um, I guess that's just about it. Anything else you might want to add? Um, I just want to say um, uh, happy Valentine's to Lady Gator. I probably won't see her until the twentieth. So just thinking of you, honey. And go USA. Go USA. Thank you to everyone for listening to the Covering the Field 2022 Winter Olympics preview special. Be sure to get your bets on all the wagers and events that begin Wednesday. Remember the time difference in China? You'll need to wager a day ahead of time on all the events. Gator, it was a lot of fun. Oh, it was great, Joe. I thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate our producers, too. And that'll do it for our show. You've been listening to Covering the Field. A CM World Services and the Sage Production.